Hi everyone, hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Margarita Muradova, a personal stylist and wardrobe consultant originally from Kiev, Ukraine, but due to the war that Russia has started in Ukraine, I'm residing in Portugal at the moment. And in today's video, we're going to talk about ways and steps to get and take to create your personal style or at least get the idea of your personal style. So if this is something you're interested in, just keep watching this video. And the first step we'll talk about, and all of these steps are basically something I've discovered through working with my clients over the last 10 years, which is exactly the time I've been working as a personal stylist and in the fashion field overall. And I've been working with different clients actually. So my client base is situated all over the world. I have clients in London, clients in Paris, clients in Australia, Sydney. So people with different lifestyle, age, needs, appearance, body types, goals in life, etc, etc. So this method is tried and true for me specifically and for my whole career I've been using it and developing it in a way. So these are exactly the steps you need to take to at least get the idea of your style. And the first step would always be to come from a place of thinking about how you want to feel in your clothing and also your goals for your style. So basically, for example, you want to apply for a specific dress code -y type of job, so an office type of job, or you want to feel more confident, more classy, more elegant. So this is the type of clothing you would wish to get into your closet, basically. So always think not only about how you look, because most people usually start with how they look and go from there. So like, this is my body type. So this is something I need to wear. And this is usually not the starting point most of the time, because your appearance does not justify or your appearance does not have to be the filter for your style it's actually supposed to be totally different you have to start with how you want to feel in your clothing and your clothing is supposed to represent how you feel and your personality and then you take into consideration of course how you look in specific types of clothing how they fit you etc but this is not the starting point never the starting point so think of all the things you want to feel in your clothing and how your clothing is supposed to make you feel and write them down and write them down as specific as you can with adjectives like word tags so they need to be kind of short and precise and the next step you'll take is actually look at different types of clothing and think of all the adjectives that come to mind when you look at them so for example when you look at my blazer what does it look like and also what does it feel like emotionally in terms of like, is it classy? Is it a beautiful? Is it elegant? Is it minimalist? Is it bright? Is it emotional? Etc. Etc. And write these adjectives down and just make sure that if you want to, you know, reach a specific goal within your clothing, you match the clothing that you pick with the goal that you have in mind. So most of the time, the mistake that I see in the client's clothing when I start working with them is that their clothing is totally, absolutely different dimension to what they feel like and their personality. So they're bubbly and crazy. They want to represent that, but their clothing is totally boring and minimalistic, etc., etc. For someone who's minimalist, that would be totally okay. But for this specific person, it just doesn't work. And these people were just listening to different videos, etc., and reading different articles about like the basic wardrobe and that everyone needs to have a basic wardrobe and your style needs to be kind of a, more on the basic side but it just doesn't work that way because each and every one is totally different and unique and we need to work from that starting point always the next thing i'd advise you to do is to develop a sense of style but also a keen eye in terms of fashion overall so try to immerse yourself in everything that is about fashion in different ways so for example subscribe to different kinds of influencers and fashion people and not necessarily people that represent your style at the moment per se but actually people who are totally different in their styles so for example if you're a minimalist i'd advise to subscribe to someone who's totally maximalist like a scandinavian blogger in a sense and the reason for that is you will be able to have a full fuller, bigger picture of fashion and fashion 
different tips and styling tips and proportions and working with different textures, etc., etc. Even if you're still willing to be a minimalist, you'd get an idea of different techniques that you could use in your style to make it more complete. But also this specific thing, activity, would be giving you an idea of different emotions and styles that there are in the fashion world. And at one point, even if now you're unsure of which direction to take in your style, this specific exercise by subscribing to different people and looking at them and saving their looks and looking at their looks analytically would give you a better idea of what you want to see in your style, but also something you definitely not want to see in your style. So working from the opposite direction is also an amazing way to go but also looking at different fashion shows looking at street style looks and always not just looking but observing and taking notes of what you like and what you don't like and how you want to feel in your clothing and does this look match how you want to feel or does it not etc etc the next thing you want to do i'd advise just looking at your lifestyle and your schedule and matching your schedule and your activities to your wardrobe. So basically writing down things you need for your lifestyle to work. For example, you spend a lot of time at home, so I'd advise developing a home uniform. You spend a lot of time at work and your work is a an office job with a specific dress code. So you'd have to develop a specific uniform for your work environment and uniform is basically an outfit formula consisting of different types of things that work for you so for example for a work uniform that would be for example like a cotton poplin shirt and then a an oversized pant in a loafer that's going to be one uniform then that's going to be a long sleeve in a midi straight skirt which is a cotton skirt for example in a ballet flat and that would be another uniform. Another uniform would be a blazer and a t-shirt, a jean and a ballet flat for a casual Friday, for example. This is just an example. And therefore, you'd be able to mix and match different things in your clothing. But also, once you write down the types of uniforms that will work for you, you'd be able to see what's the common thread in them. What's the one item that's repeatable in each and every uniform, etc., etc. And uniform is something that also concerns your body type, how clothes fit you. So for example, the proportions that need work for you. So you'd write down a specific type of a fit of a jean that will work for you, a specific type of a fit of a blazer, etc., etc. And once you write down your lifestyle, the uniforms that work for that lifestyle, you'd see basically a whole bigger picture of what your closet is supposed to look like in terms of different specific clothing items. So therefore, you'd actually just map out your whole closet. After you worked out your outfit formulas, your uniforms and your lifestyle needs and their correlation with your wardrobe, what you need to do is to make sure that within your wardrobe, you add some basics first. So basic wardrobe, basic pieces, kind of simple, plainish looking. And the reason for that is that they'll complete your wardrobe, but actually be the basis of your each and every outfit because they're so easy, simple, elegant, and there's not much detail to them because the coloring would be like the basic color palette, neutral color palette, and the forms would be very simple. And then the reason for that, they'll work with everything, but they'll also work and create outfits within the basics. So basically you could stay within the basic wardrobe and create different outfits within that, but then also you can add something crazy and unique and create balanced outfit with something basic but also something crazy and interesting and like a statement piece so first add basics and make sure your basics are covered so your basic t-shirt jean etc etc and then after you did that also take note of your outfit formulas within that so for example for someone a basic shirt cotton poplin shirt would be a part of their basics therefore a part of their outfit formulas, but for someone who's a stay-at-home mom, that would not be the case. So just always make sure that your lifestyle and your requirements and your needs and your goals match your closet and something that doesn't work for you, just usually I'd suggest getting rid of that so that this specific item doesn't take up space in your 
wardrobe. So what you need to do is to first cover the basics, but then go to your personality style and something that has a, more of a personality to that item already in itself. So something that has more color, pattern, prints, texture, all of these things together. So something is going to reflect your personality within one specific item. So for example, for me, this blazer on me, which is a vintage Chanel green, beautiful blazer, would be an item that reflects my personality because it has a lot of character within that. So then what I match it with is a basic oversized jean for outfit to look not too overdone, but also balanced. So this is the reason to have your basic and the crazier item. Then when you start creating outfits or at least trying to create outfits and always make sure you remember your outfit formulas and your needs, etc. with basics and crazier items, what you need to make sure that there's always in the look is as follows. Basically a play on fabrics, so different fabrics and the more different they are, the better. So something satiny, something matte, something crazy, something very muted, something denim, something tweed. So not all tweed, not all cotton, not all linen, all like all one fabric looks sometimes look one dimensional. And this is also regarding color. This is also regarding print, etc. So play with prints, play with, with color, play with fabrics, but also try to play with proportions. So for example, if all of your looks are oversized on top and slim on the bottom, try to inverse that and create some looks that are slimmer in the top, but also oversized on the bottom, if it makes sense, because that would create a more interesting approach to your style and also the look of your style overall. And the last thing I'd advise is to never be afraid to experiment with your style and to change it up because we're kind of a complicated human being. So we're never the same. We change and evolve. So there's no expectation for your style to cover everything forever. So at some point you'd have to revise your style and see if it matches your aesthetic. What are you doing in life? What are your goals in life? How do you feel like? And it can be totally different in a couple of years. And that is totally okay. Because actually it's a total myth that someone has to discover their own style and it has to say the same during their whole life because it's just not happening. We're totally different, crazy, complicated, beautiful people. We have a lot of personalities to us, lots of emotions. So it's absolutely impossible to expect that one style would stay totally the same within their life. So don't be afraid to experiment, to try something new and always keep an open eye when you look at different people and get inspired by different styles. So that's the reason to be subscribed to all of these different fashion influencers and bloggers and stylists. When you keep an open eye, there's always some place for inspiration, even within a field that would not be something that you're used to. So if your style is kind of on a minimalist part, you can definitely still be inspired by someone who's a, a crazier style person and it's totally okay. So keep an open eye, try to experiment and also never be too serious in your style, look at clothing as pieces of art and instruments to help you achieve your goals, but not vice versa. So clothing is not something that needs to overwhelm you, but rather help you in achieving your goals within your style. So hopefully this video was helpful. Do let me know in the comments below if something was not totally clear and I'll just try to explain it more in the comments below. Thumbs up this video if you liked it, subscribe to this channel if maybe this is the first video for you and you've liked what you've seen and look for more videos in the playlist created somewhere up here and um, that's it for today bye